Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Brandon, and this is Taylor's Fire and Smoke Cooking. Uh, I was not going to make a collard green video, but I decided to go ahead and do it. Uh, my recipe, to me, is the bomb. It's easy to do. It takes a little time, but, you know, good things take time. So uh, I wanted to just go ahead and pick up where I am now. I got them washed up and everything. I got them picked. We're going to get them washed, and I'll just kind of show you the process on how I do it. So stick around, guys, and I think you guys will enjoy this recipe. I just wanted right. to pick up at the collards. First things first, I just want to show you, you know, I uh, pick my greens. You can cut them. It would be a lot prettier. But I just start here at the uh, bottom of the, the leaf and just pull down uh, till I'm done. I do that for all my greens. I know you can buy them already uh, picked or whatnot, but there's so many stems in those. I don't like the, the ones you can buy. Now, the, one of the most important things with collars, you most definitely have to do is wash them. Now, I'm not going to tell you how you should wash your greens, but, I'm, but I do stress that you wash them. I wash mine in uh, soap. And I wash them three or four times and can repeat the process, rinse them, and then do it all over again until the water is just nice and clean. And when you know you wash them good, when you, because uh, by the time you're done, this water will have a green tint to it. So if you once you get that done, then you know you've washed them well. But I can't stress enough: make sure you wash your greens. So this is where we are. I like to keep them around that size or so, maybe a little bigger, some a little smaller. That way when you cook them, they'll cook down. You don't have these big humongous leaves or anything like that. You just have a nice uniform uh, got collard green. So make sure you wash your greens and then we'll pick back up when it's time to cook. All right, guys, now we're back. Now it's time to cook these greens up. Uh, like I say, I can't stress enough how important it is for you to wash your greens. You can get them already bagged and cut if you want, but I prefer getting them uh, the leaf and uh, picking them myself and washing them myself. Uh, to me, I just think you uh, yields a better product and then you don't have all those stems in it either. What we're going to do though, the way I like to make my greens, I like to make almost like a, a rich broth before I even put, think about putting the greens in the water. I'll cook this broth for about an hour or so before, and then uh, taste it before I even think about putting the greens in. So what I want to do, uh, we're going to put some smoked lip bones in here. Now if you, you do smoked turkey, smoked turkey tails, you can use uh, wings, whatever you've got. I just happen to have some smoked neck bones today. So that's what we're going to use. I'm going to put about four of them in here. So this is going to, like I said, we're going to build the layer of flavor. So that's going to be the first thing we put in here. What I'm also going to put in here is some chicken base. Now you can use uh, ham base or chicken base. I prefer chicken base. So we're going to put a little dollop of that in here. Now remember, we're making this almost like a really rich, brothy soup. That's the only way I can explain it. So this broth, you're going to be tasting this broth, and you're going to be seeing how good it tastes. And if this broth is delicious, then I can guarantee that you're going to be on well on your way to having some good greens as well. I know some people start their greens off in the pot right from the jump, but I don't like doing that. Uh, it takes me a while for my greens to cook, but they're always delicious in my opinion. And, uh, I'll never have anybody complain. So now we're going to do, we're going to put in some white onion. This uh, is the equivalent of two small white onions. So we're going to put about half of them in here right now. Then we'll add, save the other half for when we put the greens in. You know, I've seen some people say they can cook greens in 45 minutes or whatever. I, I don't know how. It takes me a while to cook, but you know, we just don't. So again, we're just gonna get those onions in there. Now we're gonna add a little black pepper. And we're gonna season this water up really good. That's gonna be our, the baseline for the flavor what we're going for. These greens are gonna be rich and delicious. We got a little garlic, granulated garlic. We're gonna add some minced garlic in there as well. But we'll do that once we put the greens in the pot. Alright. So we got some season oil. And just season it to season it to taste, guys. Season it to taste. And then last but not least, we're gonna use a little bit of accent. Now this is optional. And we're gonna put some in my all right, so that's the base. That's what we're starting off with. 
I'm gonna let this go, bring it up to a boil, then I'm gonna reduce it down to a simmer. And we're gonna let it simmer for about 20, 25 minutes. In about 20, 25 minutes, we're gonna come back in and we're gonna taste this and see if we need to add anything else to it. If we have to need to add anything else to it, we'll just uh, go ahead and do that and then let it roll some more. Wait till that meat starts to get a little more, uh, get a little tender and break down. But this is the first step. So the first hour, we're just working on the broth. We're not worried about the greens. And then after that, we'll add the greens in and we'll be on our way to making a perfect pot a collard greens. So stick around guys and uh, I'll catch up with you in a minute. All right y'all, it's been about 20 minutes. So now what we wanna do, we wanna come in we want to get a, a taste of this broth and see how it's tasting so far and if we need to add anything. So, okay. Now, it's pretty good, but we, we want to get the salt content up a little bit. So what I want to do is I'm going to add a little bit more of this chicken base. I like adding the chicken base because not only does it add the sodium that we're looking for, but it still gives it a different, uh, a richness with that chicken flavor. And, uh, just a little bit of a different element. So we're gonna add a little bit more of that. And a little bit more of the season on. You don't wanna overdo it, but like I said, we're trying to build. This is the foundation for the flavor. So we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna let it roll again for 20 minutes. Then we'll come back in 20 and then see where we're at. So stick around. Hey guys, while you're at it, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. You know, YouTube, they they want to make sure that people are really enjoying your content. And I hope that you guys are enjoying mine. So if you are, smash that thumbs up button for me and share the video and I really appreciate it. All right, stick around guys. All right guys, we're about 50 minutes in. I let it go a little bit longer. Just gonna taste this broth one more time. Mm. Now that's perfect. It's got the perfect flavor that we're looking for right now. Like I said, it's like a rich, uh, meaty broth or soup. And so that's what we're looking for. So now we'll be able to add, uh, go ahead and add in our greens. You can see the color on this. On this. So it's it's perfect. These uh, neck bones are starting to get uh, tender. So again, that's all we're looking for. So we've done. We've let this broth go for about 50 minutes. We made sure that it was flavored to what we, uh, the way we wanted it to be. Now it's time to add in our greens. Now it's actually, I wound up bagging up my greens after I washed them because it was pretty late. So this is actually uh, the day after the footage we're looking at now. But uh, remember these greens have been washed and they've been picked. So now we're just gonna go ahead and add them in to this delicious water or this delicious broth. Go halfway in, then we're going to take the rest of those onions, put those on in there too. Then we're going to take the rest of the greens and go on top of that. Alright, so now we're, all we're going to do now, we're going to let them cook down. We've already got our broth seasoned up to perfection. We don't need to worry about putting anything on these greens just yet. Uh, as soon as they cook down some and they start getting all incorporated with that uh, broth, then we'll be able to taste them and see where we need to go from there. But we're going to let these go. I'm not going to touch them for about 30 minutes at least. Uh, just checking them every once in a while to turn them. And then when I, we go back and check them, I'll bring you guys back in. So stick around. All right, y'all. Now we've had these greens cooking for about 30, 35 minutes since we put them in. You can see they've all cooked down. We didn't have to do anything with them. So... Now we're just gonna go ahead and let them cook another half hour before we start trying to add any more sodium or anything. One thing I am going to add uh, right now, uh, we're gonna add some minced garlic to the pot. So, I told you, we're gonna put granulated, but we will put some minced garlic in there too. So we're gonna add that in. And I'm gonna add just a few red chili flakes. I do like a little kick in my greens. So we're gonna add a little bit of those. Not very many, now you can put as many or as little as you like or none at all. And now we're just gonna, like I said, layer these flavors, y'all. Layer them up. Say this, these neck bones are starting to fall apart. And that's exactly what we want. It smells fantastic. So we're good here. We're just gonna keep on letting them roll. 
We'll pick back up in another 30 minutes and then we'll see how it's tasting so far. Check you guys in a minute. All right, y'all. I'm gonna check on these greens again. Yeah, this meat is just falling apart now, so. We're in the home stretch, but now we, we still want to check the flavors and everything. Look at that. It's falling off the bone. We still need to check on these flavors, so. Check this broth first. That's still good. Add a little bit of season oil. You know, when you put the leaves in, or when the greens in rather, it absorbs up a lot of that flavor. So now, we're at a, we're, we got a good baseline though. We don't have to play catch up with the flavor because you built that broth up so well. So we put a little more season salt in there. A little more granulated garlic. Set that up? We're gonna put some more black pepper in there. Now you can use regular salt as well if you'd like. That's up to you guys. I know some people put vinegar and everything in their greens. I do not like vinegar in my greens at all. I know my sister, when she cooks them, she puts vinegar in hers. And she's a, a really, really good cook. She cooks just like my grandmother used to cook. So, but that's what my grandmother didn't do, and she just she picked up is putting vinegar in her greens. And I'm not a big fan of it, but you know you can if you like. I just say if you like vinegar in your greens, put it in on the back end uh, or when you got them in your bowl. But all right, y'all. So we did our broth for uh, 50 minutes. We've had our greens rolling for just about an hour. We've tasted it. The flavors are getting, they're really, really close. So we're gonna let them go another 20 minutes or so. Then we're gonna come back, taste it again. We're gonna start tasting the greens themselves, see where we're at with them, and then uh, I'll uh, pick up the end. So stick around, we're just about done. All right, guys, it's been another 30 minutes. Now we're just gonna go ahead and give them a, another taste and make sure they're where we, right where we want them to be. You know, we've added some more seasonings to it. We let them cook down. They're not bitter at all. A lot of times when you have bitter greens, it's because you didn't cook them long enough. The longer you cook them, the less bitter they become. You don't have to add any vinegar. You don't have to add any sugar to these. Just cook them. All you'll have is this good, smoky, meaty flavor in those greens. Let me go ahead and get a, a little taste real quick, and we can make sure that these are exactly where we want them to be. Mm, 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 mm. Those are spot on, guys. Spot on. I'm gonna let these cool down a little bit. We'll get us a little bowl. These are the greens we're having for Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually freeze them. Yeah, guys, these greens are spot on. Plenty of meat, rich flavor. You can look at that pot liquor in, that, in them greens and see how that broth is looking. That lets you know these greens are gonna smack it. Uh, all we need now is some dressing, some cornbread, and we'll be ready to roll. So guys, follow this recipe. You wanna make some fantastic greens. You'll have it here. I appreciate you guys. Can't wait for Thanksgiving so I can really throw down on these things. But if you try this, if you do it this way, I'm, I guarantee you'll be happy with it. So uh, until the next time, God bless you guys. Have a good one.